Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. We are coming up on the end of Modern Warfare 3 and thus Modern Warfare Zombies. And in this game, I have unlocked everything. I've gotten all the Dark Aethers, I've gotten all the schematics, um, and that includes just the stuff that you find throughout Urzikstan, so like all the perks and stuff like that. And there's only one really thing that I haven't gotten done, and that is unlocking the Infinite Cosmos camo. I've seen this camo, I think it's really cool, and the boss fight itself is very challenging. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over unlocking that and acquiring that, the last thing I need for the end of this game. Okay, so I forget what number attempt this is. I have attempted this, uh, this so many times, trying to get this infinite cosmos camo. My, my biggest problem is that I've just had so many disconnects. Like up until this point, I've had relatively good um, connection to the server. I don't really have too many disconnects. Uh, and then same thing, loading into the Dark Aether. I know some people experience it more than others. And I'm currently in this cycle where I'm just experiencing it a lot. So most of my attempts, once I go to load into the Dark Aether, I just get booted right back to my desktop. So. I've been having that issue on top of just the boss fight is very challenging. I've been trying various kind of like techniques and tactics, different like loadouts and stuff like that, and just haven't really found the right setup yet. RGL seems to be fairly good. My only other problem is then like what I bring in my bag. If I bring in too many self, I've been trying to find the balance between self revives and juggernaut suits. That seems to be the best strategy for soloing is using juggernaut suits. My problem is that if I bring in just juggernaut suits, I guaranteed will go down and then just won't have self revives. But if I bring in too many self revives, then I don't have enough juggernaut suits. And I've tried bringing in like two weapons. So like the RGL and some other weapon that has bullets. My problem is then that whether I'm like trying to throw down the juggernaut suit or as I'm leaving the juggernaut suit, the game is really finicky about which weapon comes out, sometimes even if, if at all. Like sometimes I'll leave the juggernaut suit and it's just my fists and then I'm like pressing Q to switch weapons and I'm not switching weapons and then I go down because I'm just surrounded by zombies. So just been having a lot of like weird little issues like that as well on top of the challenge of the boss fight so this time i'm gonna try just bringing in the rgl so that hopefully there's no issue in the game logic when i'm like leaving a jug suit or throw after throwing one of like what weapon to bring out it always brings this out and just hope for the best when it comes to if i run out of juggernaut suits and then have to rely on this to then damage the boss so We'll see how that works out. Okay, so I think I've got enough essence here. 94. That's <laughs> plenty. So let me call in this disciple. And let's buy up juggernauts here. Okay. I'm hoping this is the right balance of self-revives to juggernauts for me. So let's get in here. Let's try and see if I can get this done. Can't believe it, I made it in, Woohoo! All right, so first step is get the R4D detector. So that's gonna be at the base of the main building here. Now you will need the uh, inhibitors. If you don't have them, you if you didn't bring them in, you can obviously start the contract that's in this Dark Aether, but you'll see this egg down here that's not part of the contract, the spore control. Get the R4D detector. Now we're gonna follow some arrows. So the first one's here. Now I've heard both um, that you can complete it without taking the R4D detector, and uh, that you can't that you can't complete it without grabbing the R4D detector. I was in the regular uh, Dark Aether, and I was able to complete this without holding on to the R4D detector. I just ran through the maze. I know the path. However, someone did at least destroy the spore. So I'm thinking you might be able to get away with at least completing the spore. But I don't know. 
uh, to just be safe, I always just kind of follow everything. Make sure I hit all the arrows. Usually this part, I kind of got to bring out the enemies here. Actually, just going to use my field upgrade, try and run through this. And we see this pops up over here. And this gold skull spawn. So this is the next... This will lead us to the next thing that we need to do. And if you look at the skull, it says, Call me Ishmael. So Ishmael... Call me Ishmael being a reference to Moby Dick. And if we come back to the main building again, the ground floor. So here's where the spore was. And we come off to the right side... We'll see a giant whale here. Now, if you have a scorcher, absolutely, you can use the scorcher to just go up to the top of the whale. If you don't have a scorcher, you do need to come up the stairs. Avoid the first door. That's not going to be high enough. You come to the second door here. And I run around to the front here, and you can just drop down. It's going to trade the skull, which will spawn this thumb drive. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, I should have been a little more careful there, but that's why I have to bring in so many self revives. I make stupid little mistakes like that all the time. All right, so the uh, thumb drive here it says spec key holder, and so the spec, if you notice, says three C in it. In the spec, it's three C, so that just tells us where to go on the grid here. So three C, so we want to go to that building. Top off my ammo here. And so it's going to be this building. And if you just enter through the ground floor here, take these stairs, come in through this doorway. Oh! We're going to insert the thumb drive on this computer, which will spawn a boss, the key holder, which is a mangler. And we have to defeat the mangler here. And I like to bring them out to the open, and I just kind of run around this building and take pop shots at them. And I've got plenty of time. I've still got 11 minutes to get this done, so I don't really need to worry about time right now and getting this done quickly. I usually just circle this building. Seems to be a fairly good strategy. There are some times that I will get like a the insta-kill, and I'll be a little more aggressive and push in. Now, with the grenade launcher here, you don't really get the benefits of insta-kill, but if I had like a, a bulleted weapon, I will be more aggressive and push in. The other thing I've noticed is that sometimes the key holder is, he himself is more aggressive. Sometimes he really runs out after you, and other times he just really stays in the center there, which makes it a little more frustrating. I don't do as much damage quickly as I'd like, but like I said, I've got plenty of time, so it's not like I need to be super quick about this. And I'd rather not go down and be safe than do something foolish and go down, because I'm gonna need all the self revives I can for the actual boss fight. Whoa, did they change this? Did I just insta-kill that mangler? Oh, I guess not. It must have been low or something. That was kind of weird. I've never had like one shot a mangler before. It kind of looked like I did. Well, 
running low on ammo here, so let me come through here. Perfect. Got some ammo. Yes, run after me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, this is going to be a little challenging. So he does drop a key here. Got it. I was thinking it was going to be a little more challenging because there's so many manglers shooting and they kind of blow you back a little bit. Oh, I'm stuck. All right, so now we just got to get to the, essentially where you exit this place. So let's see. Does this one lead me straight? No, it doesn't. That's okay. I'll just go this way. I'll take the long route. Oh, wait, no. I think this one. I'm trying to get there. Because that one has the uh, jump pad that'll take you straight to the top. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, only seven. Uh-oh. I should really try and find some ammo. I don't know of any ammo depots, though. Da -da -da -da. I think I'll survive. Oh, wait. This ammo? Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so the key used to open this door, which usually will spawn some uh, wonder weapons. Not always, but then you take this portal here. And if you'll notice, the timer does reset, and now we're at essentially the boss fight for the story mission. However, this boss fight is way more challenging. And it's not two phases, it's only one phase. So I'm gonna throw my juggernaut here, place it. Oh, I hope that comes down fine. And you gotta be really careful on this. The uh, her blast is way more powerful on this one. It will take you down, I think, instantly or damn near instantly. So you gotta be pretty careful. Nice, I got that down really quick. I'm stuck, I can't move. Where are you? There you are. I still can't move, what the heck? Ideally, you want to try and destroy all her orbs twice with each juggernaut. However, that can be challenging if you notice uh, her waist is now hidden from me and I'm having to waste time run around. Oh, okay, nice. So I can use the RGL, that's good, 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 good. Fly over there here. Uh oh, gotta get off here. So see, I can't, like my gun won't come out. Grab the edge here. I can. Perfect. Oh, don't throw me off the edge. Thank you. Oh, she moved. Darn. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god, thank goodness. If you destroy all the orbs before she does that new thing, uh, it will stop that attack. Oh. No. Hold on. I'm gonna let her nuke. And then I'm going to use self revive. Perfect. Oh, come on, Mimic. Darn, she's, she's moving. Oh, no. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit everything from there. Yes, got it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to top off ammo here. I forgot to equip my next jug. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to take a little second here. I'm being kind of beat down. Ah, oh, see, my gun never comes back out. Oop, I gotta get off. Just gonna reset here. Alright, where'd my jug go? There it is. Got it? Okay. Where are you moving to? There you are. Can I get it all? Nope. I don't think I will. though I'm so excited can I get this done finally okay come on I can do this I need to move to the side I don't think I'm gonna get an angle on her I don't think I'm gonna destroy every orb with this one I think I got it. I did. I got her. Okay. Okay, I just need to do one more here. Quick one. Okay, bail on this one. Oh my gosh, I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so excited. I just can't mess up. Okay, come on. Oh no, she's moving. Okay, that's fine. I really think I only need to destroy like one part of her. Yes! Oh my gosh, I did it! <laughs> oh my gosh, this took me so long. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh boy. And there it is. Let's take some of these goodies as well. Oh man, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm normally not a big fan of like some of these flashier camos, but I do think this looks really cool. Oh gosh, that feels so good to get done. So I think this boss fight is just as difficult as the red worm maybe if not a little bit more i remember when the red worm came onto the scene it was a very challenging fight for me and so this feels the same level and i say just a little bit more just because of having to kind of 
the way you maneuver around the boss fight with those jump pads, you know, the red worm, you got this big open area, you can move around freely, but you're restricted to these kind of smaller islands with jump pads in this one. But it's a tough fight. I feel so good to have this done. I was getting a little worried I would not be able to unlock this before Black Ops 6. And I say that really just from a solo player perspective. I am very certain that if I had, you know, pinged in the chat within the game of like, hey, I'm going for an infinite cosmos and gotten a squad together, could have easily gotten this done. But up to this point, I've gotten everything unlocked as a solo. So really wanted to make sure I got this done as a solo as well. Um, and at this point, I have everything done. So I'm happy. I'm glad I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable going into Black Ops 6 knowing I have everything done. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And until the next one, peace.